Islam Malashi returned home on Wednesday after being stuck in Gaza for weeks. She travelled there in September to visit her father before fighting broke out. Islam managed to make her way to Egypt before eventually returning home to the UK earlier this week. Upon her return, she surprised her two children at their school, describing it as the best moment of her life. Earlier I spoke to Islam and asked her what her time had been like in Gaza. It's really bad. It, it, the atmosphere and the circumstances were very bad, and and till now, because I'm I'm calling my my family out there, and they are still in bad conditions, living in tents there. So, um, I lived the the worst days of my life during the two months. The the, the last two months, um, we witnessed the, the the war. I witnessed the war. We're just seeing images there of you surprising your children at school. I mean, what was that moment like? Yeah, it was my 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 best moment in my life, to be honest, because I did not expect that I will come back again to England anymore. Or I, I I lost hope at that time that I will never meet my family again. I will never meet my husband, my my kids again. At that moment, when I hugged them, put them in my lap in the school without any notice, they didn't know that I'm coming. Um, um, I felt I felt I felt my 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 heart is is it just. Mm very happy. How's your heart feeling regarding the fact that, you, you, as you said, you've still got family um, left in Gaza, you travelled out there to see your, your father, how is he and, and what are your reflections on the family that you've left behind? Yeah, to be honest, um, my father and my sister tried to come to the borders with me in order to be able to cross, but they refused them to cross, so they returned them back to the wall, and they only accepted me to get in Egypt, because my, my name was published on the list, on the borders, only my name. So now they, they went to Rafa again, living in the same tent where I left them, and then they are still suffering from a lot of illnesses. My dad um, suffers from diabetes, from chronic diseases, from a lot of things. He's 70 years old. He cannot take care of himself anymore. My sister is, uh, is, is holding the Yemeni passport with her, with her with my niece, with her daughter. She's one and a half years old. She, she suffers a lot of, a lot from a lot of illnesses right now. You know, there's no hygienic means, there's nothing, there's no clean water, there's no food, only tin foods, there's not enough food as well. So they live in a bad, bad circumstances till now. Sometimes the Israeli military is cut the connection from Gaza at all. They separate Gaza at all from the world, so I can't get in touch with them. So I feel very worried, I feel very sad and upset because I left my family there. Sometimes I feel guilty because I left them, but they, I, I did not have any other option. I have to come back to, to my kids, as you know.